guys, welcome to Faith and Fabric. I'm Jen Frost and today we are going to continue our spring cleaning series with how to clean your slow steady glider mat. Now last week we looked at how to clean our iron. Actually I'll put a link up here to that one if you haven't done that. That is definitely something you need to address. Mine was very much needing to be addressed. It was actually pretty gross and now my iron is like back to new. I feel like it's a brand new one. Um, I'm hoping to get that same effect today with my slow steady mat. So let's talk about this mat real quick. Um, this is a, you'll see the reflection here. This is a very smooth mat. The whole purpose of this is to decrease friction when you are, um, when you're doing your free motion quilting at your sewing machine. Now the way this works is the top is this ultra sheen, ultra smooth material. The back, however, is uh, made up of the most microscopic, almost, I'm gonna describe them as like microscopic suction cups. Now that's probably not what they are, but that's what it feels like when you touch it. There's almost like this little tacky grip to it. And what that does is it helps it grip to your machine. So all the metal components of my machine, um, you can see back here, the surface of my machine is, is very soft. Uh, it's a combination of smooth metal and a, a very um, hard plastic on the extension table itself. This will actually just, when you put it down and press it, it will stick. Now, mine's gotten dirty. So what's happening is, is I'll hold this up to the camera so you can see, especially where, um, where this portion is here, this is where your needle comes down. I'm getting a lot of buildup. You can just see overall, it's just, it feels like, um, it feels like a, a cabinet that hasn't been dusted in way too long. It's kind of gross. So we're going to do our own little dusting on this today. Um, I'm going to show you how to clean this. So cleaning these is actually very easy. You don't need any chemicals. Um, you're actually just going to use warm water and a rag. So let's head over to the bathroom and we're going to get this cleaned up. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> so we are not needing really any supplies. Literally all you need is your slow steady mat. You're going to need an old rag. These are those same gray rags that we use to clean the iron. I'm actually going to put a link to these in the cleaning shop below because they just work so well. Um, and a sink. So we're going to head over to the sink here in the bathroom and we're just going to turn on some water, make it nice and warm, and then we're going to scrub this together. Okay, so here we are at the sink. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is just dampen our rag here. So I've got the water um, a little bit warm here. I'm just gonna get my rag nice and wet. And what I love about these rags is you can see they get nice and damp, but they don't like hold water the way a regular terry cloth would. And then we're just gonna slowly put this over on the counter and we're just gonna wipe off all that, that residue, all the dirt. Um, and what's nice is just like, oh, yuck, you can see. You know this? Ew. So that's the kind of stuff that's gumming up all those little, um, what did I call them? Mini suction pads? Uh, we're gonna stick with that. It's gumming up all those little mini suction pads and it's preventing them from sticking to my, um, to my sewing machine, which is no good, because that kind of defeats the purpose. I'll put this side now. You can already see it feels, um, I know you guys can't feel what I can feel, but it already feels cleaner and smoother. So uh, as this continues to dry now, what this will do is all that suction, that sticky suction will come right back because we've gotten all the loose threads, all the residue, all that just stuff that sticks to it. Honestly, dust in general. You know, these come with that clear pad that when you're done sewing, you put the clear pad back on the back. But even then, there's still going to be just dust. You know, especially when you're sewing, you have all the loose thread dust that kicks up. Um, so I've got this all cleaned off now. It's all wiped down. That was super easy to clean. Um, we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab a paper towel, we're gonna dry this off, and then we're gonna see how it sticks to the machine. Okay, out of the bathroom, back in the sewing room. So I've got my mat here and it's still kind of damp, and I'm just gonna gently wipe off some of that water. Um, now I'm using a paper towel. I don't think that this paper towel is gonna leave any, um, leave any, I'm gonna call it like just residue on here. Um, these are, we, we get pretty decent paper towels, um, heavy duty ones. So. You know, I think you wouldn't want to use like toilet paper or something like that because that is going to uh, re-stick. And you'll see now if I touch this, it's back to sticking to my fingers even. That suction is back. Do you hear that? It's tacky again. Um, just by using some basic soap and water, we were able to get all of that residue off. So let's head over to the machine and we're going to stick it back on there and see if it makes a difference. All right, so this is where I mentioned, you can see this whole, my, my whole machine itself is all metal. Um, Janome makes such great machines. And then the table that surrounds it is a plastic table. So when it comes to suction, the suction works a little bit better on the plastic, or I'm sorry, on the metal than it does on the plastic. But 
honestly, I've never really had too much trouble with it sliding around, except in our last free motion video. I'll stick a link up here to it if you want to see what happened. But as I was doing my free motion sewing, my glider mat was moving around because it was so dirty. So now let's put this glider mat back down and you'll see, we'll line it up here with the hole. And if I push, do you see how this suctioned right down? You can even see the ridges from where the machine are. This is absolutely like it was when I bought it. Just brand new, super suctioning. And look, this is not, I can't even move this with my hands if I try to. So this is actually a really great tool. Um, if you haven't bought one of these, honestly, you guys, I so recommend this for free motion quilting. But this was, as you saw, so easy to clean today. A little bit of soap, a little bit of water, and you were done. And there you go. In what, less than five minutes probably, we were able to completely make our mat like it's brand new. So I've still got that nice smooth top. I've got like the no friction slider. My bottom is that real sticky. I mean, I loved how you can even visually see how it just right to my machine. That was awesome. And it makes it so that now when I'm gonna go ahead and practice any of my free motion or quilt any quilts, I'm using a free motion style. I'm not gonna have anything sticking to that. It's not gonna be sliding around like it was before because that was kind of a nightmare when it was moving around on me. Um, you know, this is probably when it came to free motion quilting, one of the best investments I've made. And if you're watching this video, you probably have one too and you've realized the benefit of having one. So I wish you guys happy sewing. If you learned anything helpful today, definitely give us a like. Thank you for the subscribes and we will see you in the next spring cleaning video. Take care.